对呀、啊。衣服吧，穿的、打扮什么的。我的名字是魏凯琳，我很喜欢住在北京。You know, when I first met her, she was a fashion model. یه دونه کودکستان دارم دو تا شرکت با چهار تا بچه I'm passionate about education She's committed to raising up in the first six years of life children who have a strong foundation who absolutely know what it is to be honest who know what it is to be kind who know what it is to be generous who know what it is to share of character education um, and then added Montessori to that and over the years we've tried to integrate them as sort of seamlessly as, as, we, as we could. One day I received a phone call from a mother whose daughter was then going to the family learning house and she said I know that it's your dream to involve disabled children, orphans, in the school. And there's a little girl that I visit on a, on a weekly basis, and she is very smart. She's physically disabled. It's not a severe disability. Come out and see if, if you think she could come uh, to the family learning house. And a week later, I made the drive out to this orphanage, She was upstairs in her room waiting for my arrival. In Chinese, I asked her if I could come and, and hug her. And she just nodded her head like this. I got in the car, and as I was driving back into town, I called Adam. She said, look, I've been out to visit this child who's disabled. She needs a school. We have a school. She needs a family. We have a family. This is the gift that we've been waiting for, and we should just invite her to be part of our family. He didn't even flinch. 
He said, yes, absolutely, let's do it. The owner helped me pack my backpack and I was standing at the door waiting for them to pick me up. And she was this big round faced Chinese girl dressed in so many clothes she could have been on the way to an Arctic expedition. And when she left that building, she walked with such confidence and faith, she never looked back. This is the very first painting that Cyan did when she came to our home. Um, and when I asked her to describe it, she said in Chinese that this was her new home and this was her old home. There is a passage in Book One of the Ruhi Institute material that talks about us being like a bird that is created to fly through the immensity of the heavens, but then impelled by its hunger, it has to land to eat and to feed off the water and clay of the earth. When Karen lands, she lands lightly. And I think that's an amazing thing. She walks on this earth, she's part of it, she's absolutely involved in so many things, but she just treads lightly. You know, when I'm given a choice between this or that, I always ask myself, what would help humanity to progress? If this would help, then that's what I want to do. I love my mommy.